dog Eileen Proctor and I'm back again sniffing out the staff on VLP TV. That's Villa La Paz Cage Free Pet Resort and Spa and look who I tracked down. It's the manager of Villa La Paz on Shea, Amber Lee, and she's brought a very good looking uh, co-star here. Who do we have there, Amber? This is Romeo. Romeo. And tell us a little bit about Romeo. Is he your personal dog? Yeah, um, he's my first personal dog. My mom gave him to me when I was when he was six months old. Um, she got him from a friend that didn't want him, and then I came home when he was there, and she gave him to me, and I've had him ever since. Great. And how long has that been? About three and a half years. So, now. so he's about three years old. Yeah. He is adorable. Is he a good boy? He's a very good boy. <laughs> what what's what's his one bad habit? Come on, you can spill. We won't tell anybody. Shh. Probably barking when there's no one in the room. Or barking at strangers. Okay, well, if there's nobody in the room, is he seeing ghosts? Does he see dead people? No, he hates being by himself. Oh, yeah, I understand. Romeo, I totally understand. I totally understand. I also understand that Romeo doesn't have any front teeth, so I don't have to worry about being attacked or anything. No. <laughs> He's pretty naked right there. Oh, that poor boy. Can we get a little close-up here of that guy's little face there? Hang on there. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Slipping you the tongue, folks. Slipping you the tongue. All right, well, let's talk about you. You're the manager at Villa La Paz on Shea, and uh, that's just been about a month, a month and a half it's been going on. How's it going? Good. It honestly doesn't feel anything different than what I was doing before. No, but the place is running great. You have to admit you've got the staff responding to you. I know that, that everybody's loving you being here. Yeah, it's fun. It's just now that the, I have the title, but everything else stays the same. Customers are great. Staff's great. Excellent. That's pretty cool. So what did you do before you worked at Villa La Paz? What, what kind of work did you do in the past? I was working at restaurants, serving, or I was, no, I wasn't a server. I was just a carry-out person and hostess and was going to school to be a vet tech, actually. Oh, and I see. It didn't work out very well, and I've been here for three years, so. Did, you didn't like vet teching? No. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Too much <laughs> blood and pain, huh? Um, not so much. I just, I don't know. It just wasn't my thing. And yeah. then I came here and then ever ever since. And how long have you been here? Three years. Three years. It's almost as long as you've had Romeo. Yeah. Excellent. Good things happen all at the same time for you. Yeah. And I understand that you're starting something new when you're going to school. Yep. Start at the end of this month going for business. Business management sort of kind of on the fence right now with that. But Where's that? Um, Everest College. Everest College. All right. Good. So how long will it take for you to get your degree? Any idea? Probably two years at least for my associates and then okay. if I go for more then I'll decide then, but yeah, two and years for my associates. Are you doing that at night? It's going to be online. Online, right? yes. And then if I, just, if I change from online to on campus, it'll be in the morning. Okay, great. So what kind of courses are you taking now? I don't know yet. I find that out on Friday. Oh, all right. <laughs> so we'll let you guys know next month what she's taking and how well she's doing. Yeah. So I understand that you're an Arizona native, not a Phoenix native, but Arizona native. Where, where do you come from? Prescott Valley. was there for 16 years, and my mom moved this year when I was 16 and been here for about six years now in Phoenix. So how do you contrast the difference? We know the weather is different, but do you have a preference for which one? Phoenix. Phoenix? I don't like small towns okay. anymore. Okay. One again. <laughs> You're a happening sort of girl, huh? Yeah. yeah. So speaking of that, you like the nightlife, I see. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah? Yeah, it's different than Presley Valley for sure. So what's your favorite thing to do after work to blow off steam? Not that she ever needs to blow off steam, but what's your favorite fun thing to do when you're not working? Hang out with friends, be with my niece. Your niece? Katana. What's your niece's name? Katana. And how old is Katana? She'll be a year in July. A year in July. I've seen pictures. She is adorable. She's beautiful. And you like being an aunt? <laughs> Love it. Yeah? yeah? So how do you spoil her the most? Just play with her, make her smile, make her laugh. Yeah? Just play with her is the most fun Yeah. For me. So. She loves her Aunt Amber, I'm sure. She does. Yeah. <laughs> so if you weren't working with animals, okay, and, and, and for some reason, okay, you, you went crazy and decided you were going to do something else, what do you think you might want to do? Be a business person. A business person? You're taking the lead of, uh, of Tom Murray, huh? Yeah, I just want to, I don't know, I want to walk across the crosswalks in New York. <laughs> walk across, across the crosswalks in New York? Yeah. I've been there. It's not so much fun, but hey, everybody, you know. That's all I want to do, really. Really? I just be a business person. Excellent. Well, I'm sure that you have any idea what area you'd like to be involved? I have no clue yet. No clue yet, because you're still young. How old are you? 21. 21. Any special someones in your life? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I'm going to have to check out your Facebook page. And that's your personal Facebook page. But <laughs> speaking of Facebook pages, I see you've been having a lot of fun posting to the Villa La Paz on Shea Facebook page, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah? So, 
How often do you do that? Well, at least once a week. I try to, anyways. Videos, pictures, pictures of grooming, pictures of daycare, birthday parties. I think it's videos. adorable. You guys are getting some good stuff up there. How do you pick what goes up there? I just put everything, everything that I like goes up. Everything you like. Mm -hmm. All right, so you guys can basically kiss up to Amber. <laughs> Maybe your kid's going to wind up being featured on Villa La Paz on Che on Facebook. Make sure you become a fan or a friend. We want to make sure that you get to see all the great things that are going on on Facebook. Are you on Facebook a lot? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I know I'm your friend. I know more about you than I, than I think I should, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a guilty pleasure. So what else haven't I asked you, Amber, that you want all of your fans and friends and, and Pausians to know? Give us what closing fact that'll just knock our socks off. <laughs> <laughs> She's a little shy, folks. We're going to have to bring her out of it. Anything you want to tell us? No. No? <laughs> I think we're going to edit this out here, okay? So I'll end it differently, okay? All right, Amber, well, you've given us a lot of great information about you. We really appreciate your being here. Romeo, you got to stop talking so much. You're almost as noisy as your mom. Well, anyway, we've been sniffing out the staff over at Villa La Paz on Che, talking with the manager, Amber Lee. We want to thank you for tuning in, and we'll be back next month with another staff person to be sniffing out on VLP TV. That's Villa La Paz, Cage Free Pet Resort and Spa.